Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be talking about the best 3D modeling softwares for 3D printing in 2025, and we're going to figure out what the best one is for you. Let's get started. We're going to start off with one of the best 3D modeling programs for beginners, and that's Tinkercad. It's completely web-based. All you have to do is type in tinkercad.com, and you can get an account for free. Let's start by creating a 3D design. This modeling program is super intuitive. Basically, the entire premise is that you drag shapes out of this library, you can change the dimensions here, or enter them. And then you use whole components to sort of carve. For example, I can use the shift key to select these two blocks, click group up here, and we can see that we've carved this little cube out of our bigger cube. And while this may seem pretty simple, you don't want to underestimate Tinkercad. People have created a whole articulated dragons on here. So this choice is definitely great for beginners. I personally spent around a year on Tinkercad before I switched to more advanced programs, but of course you can switch at any time you like. From here on out, I'm going to include options for both iPad and PC, so you have a greater variety of choices you can make. So we're now going to go to the iPad app that's used for sculpting, which is usually Nomad Sculpt. Sculpting is primarily used when you try to make models that are more aesthetically focused, and for this Nomad Sculpt is a great choice. You don't need an Apple Pencil, but this is highly recommended. Now, I'm not great at sculpting, so I prefer to create more modern art. But of course, if you're better at sculpting, this is definitely a way that you might want to go. And we'll now head into the computer equivalent, Blender. Blender is definitely more complex than Nom Nomad Sculpt, and along with creating 3D models, you can also make animations and paint your models. For this purpose, we're just going to go into the Sculpting tab, and I'll show you the different tools that we have available. Now, once again, I'm going to create some more modern art. But you can see just how easy it is to create a sculpture. Now, you may be thinking, this all is great, but what if I want to create parts that are more functional than artistic? And that's where our next three programs come in. We're first going to talk about the iPad program, which is called Shaper 3D. There are others available, but I think Shaper 3D is probably one of the best. But the problem is you need an Apple Pencil to use any one of these programs, so be sure you have one before you install one of them. If you're looking to design more complex parts, computer-based CAD is definitely the way to go. This is Onshape, a web-based program. This part took me about 5 seconds to model, while on Tinkercad it would take so much longer. Therefore, Onshape is definitely a great way to go if you're looking into getting more professional design. However, because it's web-based, it can definitely be a bit laggy, and it lacks a few new tools. And that's where Fusion 360 comes in. Now, before you all start yelling at me saying, I don't want to spend $200 a year, yes, that's totally fair. And that's why we're using it for personal use. To search up Fusion 360 personal use, click this link, and you'll be able to create your account and get everything for free. Of course, there's a few features that's, that are lacking, but do we really need those? No, probably not. So this is definitely the way to go if you want to try using Fusion 360. This is a small cable winder that I designed, and you can just see the level of precision that I get from Fusion 360. I can even construct analyses like this and see the inside of my model. Now, don't get me wrong. I am not saying that Fusion 360 is better than Onshape, but it's definitely my personal preference, and it is for a lot of people. So it's definitely your choice and up to you which tool you use. And with that, you know about six different modeling programs that you can potentially use to design your own things to 3D print. If you want further tutorials on any of the CAD programs mentioned in this video, please comment down below and I'll be sure to create tutorials on them. I can't wait for the next video, so see you then.